What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're prepping some cheeseburger onion rings that we're going to put in the smoker tomorrow afternoon and then we're probably going to finish them off on the blackstone. So what you do is you start off by taking an onion, slicing it into the circles, I don't know, half inch, three quarters of an inch, okay, and then you separate the rings, all right? And what you're going to end up doing is taking the, the cheeseburger mixture and putting it in between those rings and then wrapping it in bacon before we smoke it. So what I got here is I got a, a pound of ground beef. I like the 80-20 just personally. And then I took a half a cup of shredded cheese. That's a Mexican blend. We really like that one. And then we just got your standard bacon here. And then we put the uh, the Blackstone Pub Burger on it. That's a really good rub. I don't know if you guys have tried that. You should if you haven't. So you take your rings, kind of get them prepped up. I'll do the first one here, kind of show you. And then we'll, uh, we'll pause the video and we'll come back after we have them all prepped up and kind of show you how they look. And like I said, I'm going to put them in the fridge overnight and have them, have them ready to go for the smoker when I get home tomorrow. So just take that filling, just kind of mash it around in on the edge. Now I've, I've, I've talked to a few people that they'll, they'll take one ring out in between the two onion rings. Some people take two out. I think it's more of a preference thing how much meat you want in between your, your onion slices there. So. Some of these we're going to do one, some of these we're going to do two. It's all preference. I mean, you could probably put some, some pepper in there or anything you wanted, kind of kick it up a little bit. Smash that onion down in there. And then I'm just going to take the, the excess that squirts out of the center. Throw it right back in the bowl. There you go. Now we take that and we're going to wrap that in bacon. Of course, right? Seems to be a theme here in the last few videos is wrapping things in bacon. All right, well, you get the idea. You know how to wrap things in bacon. We're going to prep these up. We'll pick it right back up here in a minute after we get them prepped up, and then we'll talk about the smoker project for tomorrow. And there you go. Aren't they gorgeous? And in honor of the Olympics, it looks like the Olympic rings. Actually, they look like meat and donuts, to be quite honest with you. Um, so these are all prepped up. I'm probably going to put a little bit more of the seasoning on them tonight. That way they can sit there and uh, soak that in overnight. Get home tomorrow from work, fire up the smoker. We're gonna do 225. Probably gonna start in an hour. Uh, honestly, I don't see how the people that only take one ring out of the in-between the onions, uh, I don't see how you get enough meat in there. So I would recommend the two. Uh, next time might even try three, who knows? Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, smoker's up to temp. We got our bacon cheeseburger onion rings ready to go in now. Look pretty, don't they? Another thing I'm gonna do while you guys are, while we're doing this right quick, is the uh, the pro tip of the day. So let's get these on real quick and then we'll do the pro tip of the day. And then we're gonna check on these probably every 20 minutes or half hour. That's the good thing about this this glass door you can look at it in your smoker because if you're looking you ain't cooking all right now that those are on here's your pro tip of the day it's right here if you have a wood chip smoker like that master built one i've been telling my buddies this for years put one of these charcoal briquettes in the bottom of that chip pan before you start it gives it that little bit of charcoal flavor it gives it a little bit more smoke than the wood chips it's just i love it i've been doing it for years so that's the pro tip of the day. We'll check on these in about 20 minutes. 
Okay, we are 30 minutes in. Coming along nicely, nowhere near done. They smell terrific though. So, put them back in. We'll check on them again in another 30 minutes. Okay, we're still at 30 minutes again and uh, ooh, man, it smells great out here. Looking good, coming along nicely. I'm, I'm guessing the way that we're gonna win and get this bacon to look, we're gonna want them to probably go for Oh, I'm guessing probably two hours the way it's looking. We'll see though. We're going to check them again in a half hour. See that little guy up there? Don't worry about that little guy. That's a test run for a future video. Stick around. All right. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes. I had these things at 250, not 225. So I'm shut the smoker off. I'm going to have you. They look great. All right. Like I said, the smoker's off. Now I'm going to get the uh, the blackstone ready. We're going to crisp them up on the blackstone, get that bacon a little crispy. And then we'll, uh, we're going to do some potatoes on there too. I'm going to show you how to do those. Neat little trick my brother taught me. That's going to be the shout out this video. Okay, griddle's fired up. Onion rings are pretty well done, the cheeseburger onion rings. We're going to show you this potato trick that my brother showed me. That's why he's getting the shout out of the day. Older brother on this one. Take your potatoes, cook them in the microwave about, I don't know, 75% of the way through to the way they're mostly done. Split them in half long ways. Put the butter on the griddle and then throw the potato on the griddle. Let it get nice and warm. Crispy. They turn out real nice and crispy that way. Sounds like the neighbor kids are trying to kill each other, so don't pay any attention to that. And we don't do seasoning on the on the potatoes a whole lot here because the kids like different stuff on their potatoes. They like to put sour cream and cheese on theirs. So. All right, we got the pork chops going. Got the potatoes on. We got a few small hamburgers that we're gonna put on, uh, and then we're gonna crisp up the bacon off the uh, cheeseburger onion rings. We'll pick it back up in a second, guys. All right, cheeseburger onion rings, folks. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then here's the fried baked potatoes. Nice little crisp on that skin on the inside there. That way everybody can kind of cut them open and put whatever they want on there. Got a couple burgers that look pretty good here. Nice crispy edges on those. And then for the people that don't like the burger, some nice center cut pork chops. Oh yeah, those look good. Put a little teriyaki sauce on them. So, as always guys, uh, well, first off, I'm going to make sure your uh, cheeseburger onion ring gets to about 165 internal temperature. Safe for ground meat, at least 165. I think these were like 180. Um, I almost don't think that second onion ring might be necessary. After I try these, uh, uh, maybe next time I'll just do the, uh, the meat mixture and the outside ring and then wrap it all up from there. So, uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment. What do you want to see us cook next? Have a great day, everybody.